The road to the 2014 FIFA World Cup Finals in Brazil is well underway in Asia. After three rounds, only ten nations remain. There's four automatic spots on offer. And Iran are looking to take one of them. When Iran uh, came up with this invitation, uh, the door was open to, to be in Brazil. I'm confident and um, I trust that uh, Iran, with, uh, with the right preparation, uh, we have a chance. If, if uh, we really be able to put in place uh, uh, a good preparation program to support uh, the expectations and the dreams of the people, I think we don't have a good chance. This is uh, what I choose, this is the expectation that I have for my, for my career. This is the dream of Iran, so it was an easy marriage. They want to be in Brazil, I want to be in Brazil. Okay, let's do it together. Carlos Quiros, a name often synonymous in Europe for youth development, embarked on a mission to take up the hotter seat in Iranian football back in April 2011. In spite of his vast experience, Iran was still something unique. I didn't know the, that Iran is so passionate about the game. I was, I was completely surprised when I saw Azadi Stadium with 80, 90,000 people uh, to see a, a league game. And uh, we have today uh, nearly 90,000 people watching the national team of Iran. So that is great when you go to one stadium today and you see 80,000 people around you. Uh, I mean, there is no many countries in the world uh, that uh, you can put together uh, all those fans to watch the national team and the uh, league games. So the passion is there and I was really surprised because I didn't expect uh, so much fans uh, and uh, so much crazy people about football. And that's the best uh, part of Iran. This is the best starting point uh, to progress uh, in the game. And um, it is our duty and our responsibility now to challenge that passion and use that environment to, um, to help uh, Iran to be in the next level. Kirosh's first assignment for Team Meli was round three of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Iran topped Group E on 12 points with three wins and three draws, sending them to the final round. Where sterner tests await, they'll have to fend off challenges from Korea Republic, Qatar, Lebanon and Uzbekistan. The only thing I'm concerned with is with Iran. Uh, that's my only concern that I have. And my concern it is to be focused in a good preparation program. That's the only thing that uh, worries me. If uh, you have a chance to put in place a good plan and you don't do it. So um, it's our job now to, to be ready and uh, help uh, the team with the best uh, preparation program. Unbeaten in six competitive matches can be an encouraging start in international management. But Kiros believes there's always room for improvement. I think the team uh, have a fantastic progress. But I think uh, we should be and we can be more dominated when, when we play away. Uh, the team um, sometimes uh, uh, we, we play too much caution um, with a wait, wait and see attitude. And I want to change that. I want that uh, my players and my team doesn't matter if they play home or away, they play with 90 minutes with one thing in mind, to win the game. Adopting the approach to attack might be an attractive philosophy, but football still remains a result-driven business, made all the more demanding by the mood of the fans. Well, they are on top of my shoulders. <laughs> I, I have 78 million Iranians here in my shoulders. Uh, every time the national team play, they're not all over the world, they are here in my shoulders. That's why I need to be very accurate and very demanding with the, with the program to prepare the national team. <laughs> I think uh, the Iranian fans, uh, they, they really deserve uh, the qualification. They really deserve uh, to be uh, in the World Cup. Huh? because they are so much passionate, so much passion. They like so much this game, football. And you have uh, uh, 78 million uh, football fans. Those are the countries that they deserve to be in the World Cup. Um, but it's not only about uh, deserve, it's not all about deserve, it is about uh, to do it. 
It is about uh, to make everything to make it happen. Having been in football management since 1974 and covered four continents, what advice does Kirosh have for any budding footballer? The most important thing for a professional player, it is not, not to lie to football. Not to lie to football. And uh, that means every day uh, they must uh, wake up and work hard to be ready uh, to be a better player and a better personality in the game. That's my, my advice and that's uh, when, when you embrace, when you choose to be a professional player, when you have that privilege, because uh, millions, millions of people, they dream uh, to be a football player. Only few of them, they're born with the skills uh, to be a professional player. So it's not acceptable for me that the person that shoots that professional doesn't respect himself, doesn't respect the game, and doesn't wake up every day with a strong wish, strong desire, and a strong ambition to be a better player. And uh, doing that, uh, he helps the team, he helps the, the country, he helps his club, and uh, at the end of the day, he helps uh, football to grow up, which is the most important thing. Inspiring words indeed. Now the onus is on Carlos Quiroz to ensure Iran make a fourth appearance at the FIFA World Cup Finals. The final round of qualifiers kick off on June the 3rd. Iran's first assignment will be an away trip to Tashkent against Uzbekistan.